Welcome to 321 Photoshop, I'm Julianne Cost. Here's a quick way to simulate a long exposure using the Path Blur filter. To apply the filter non-destructively, I'll choose Convert for Smart Filters. Then choose Blur Gallery, Path Blur, and I'll adjust the speed slider to add more or less motion. To change the direction of the blur, move an endpoint. Click anywhere along the path to add a point, and then drag the point to change the direction. When a point is selected, a blue dot appears in the center. Tap the Delete key to delete a point. Select an end point to change the speed of one end independently of the other. Edit the blur shape to change the shape of the blur. Shift drag to move them in tandem. Use the Noise panel to reintroduce grain back into the blurred area, and then click OK to apply the filter. I'll use the Marquee tool to select the sky and the iceberg, select the Smart Mask filter, and then fill that selection with black. I'll choose Select, Deselect, and to soften the edges, I'll increase the feather on the Properties panel. To add the sky, I'll select the layer and choose Convert for Smart Filters. I'll choose Blur Gallery, uncheck Edit Blur Shapes, Lengthen the path and command click on Mac or control click on Windows on the path to reposition. I'll add a curve to the path, increase the speed, and uncheck Center Blur to create a more fluid blur. You can increase the taper amount if you want the blur to gradually trail off. And I'll be sure to add some grain and then apply the filter. Now to select the sky area, I'll temporarily hide the sky layer and the path blur in the foreground. I'll target the iceberg layer and choose Select Sky. I'll reveal the blur in the foreground, and with the sky layer now targeted, I'll add a layer mask. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.